Hey everyone, welcome to Infinite Binge. We are watching Westworld Season 2, Episode 2, Reunion. I am Jake, and who else is here? Kevin. And Andrew. In this episode, Dolores remembers she's been to the outside world, and William makes a bold business venture. So, uh, a lot more sort of set up, and a lot, I guess we find out a lot more about uh, some of the past. Yeah, like, um, we saw how they pitched the whole idea to that company. To uh, Papadelos. To, uh, what was his name, Logan? Well, no, it's, I, I don't know that they say what his first name is. Logan is the, the, the son, but... Yeah, that's the one they pitched it to. Oh, right, I'm sorry, I'm, I was thinking about later. Yeah, the, the live demonstration with Logan. But then later, it's kind of after the events of Logan and William in the park when they're talking to Logan's father, who is, I guess, William's father-in-law. Yeah. And he's like trying to sell, essentially sell him on why they need to continue their investment. Which is basically Facebook. I tell they're you what. selling their, their, their browsing history. The, everything that everything that was going on there that was sort of we're going to sell people's information or we're going to use that as like market research had such a Facebook like selling your data vibe to it and it kind of yeah. made me really uncomfortable. I was like, this is a little too on the nose for me. It could have been worse. The, uh, they, could have, they could have said like you know blackmail. Yeah, that's true. But I thought the the private demo was cool. It was just a, a good way to to sell their whole product to them. Yeah, I knew all of them were going to be robots. Oh yeah, definitely. I was kind of waiting for a uh, young um, Ford to walk out. He was in this episode. Yeah, very briefly. Like, well, kind of like in reflections of like mirrors or windows and stuff. Yeah, so they still have Anthony Hopkins on the payroll. He's still doing voices. That or it's a guy who does a really good impression. I think we're going to see more Ford, be it a, a robot or not. I don't know. I hear, I see in your notes you have something about the Argus Initiative. Is that something I just missed? What was that in reference to? Um, it was, I forget exactly. Uh, but someone came in and said, Welcome to the Argos Initiative. I think that might be the name of the company. Well, I feel like, uh, was that when they were kind of talking about? All of the no, I I'm trying to think if that was when they got the guy to say that you know this is how they're going to try to make their how they're going to try to take back control sector by sector. But I remember them saying "Welcome to Westworld" at the oh, end the of Argos, the private. The Argos Initiative was when they were meeting with Logan, and they said "Welcome to the Argos Initiative." There, so that was that's the name of the company that owns Westworld. Uh, before the before the, they got bought out, yeah, the, yeah. So the, it was the like, pie up. yeah, it was Arnold and Ford's business. Okay, that's interesting. Now there's probably something to that. I think Argos was the name of a ship. Well, the, yeah, well, the Argo, the Argonauts, the ship that uh, Jason. Probably not the same thing. You never know. But uh, there was that scene where that, that opened up the episode with Dolores in the real world with uh, Arnold. Yeah. Where like, she clearly wasn't as like advanced yet. They still hadn't worked out because she was like repeating phrases and stuff. But yeah. she did say she wants to go back to the she wants to see the real world again. So it, it makes me wonder, like, if that's her goal is to break free of Westworld and get to the, the mainland. I've got to imagine it has to be. Or do they just want the whole island to be their country? No, I think she went because later on in the episode she talks about how she wants to basically destroy the rest, of, destroy their world, sort of almost as it, it almost seemed like she wanted to do that as retribution for you know all of them being essentially subjugated. I am surprised how much I guess they took them out into the real world for things, it, and maybe not surprised, but. You know, didn't think it was like it. It almost seems like it. It became somewhat a common occurrence. Well, I think a lot of that stuff was like really early on, really early on, and they're like trying to get funding and stuff. Oh yeah, but I mean, even like for the guys' retirement party and and stuff, you know. Right. 
Yeah, well, I kind of like that uh, retirement party, or you know, it's or is it kind of like a coronation? Which man, I there's part of me that want to see like a whole like different set of episodes where it's all about the stuff that William did uh, in the business world to really take over that company. Like a, a madman, a madman style show. Yeah, 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 something like that. Just uh, because it's like, well, so the these guys they're in, they're investing in this, but like, how much of a deviation from their regular like line of business was this? Was this just some out of left field thing, or were they like a technology company or an entertainment company, or you know, what was the deal? Venture capitalists, maybe. Usually with VC, well. Because yeah. Logan was saying that he has a bunch of companies pitching him like the future, we have like VR or whatever. He was yeah, saying AI, like, there was a AR, bunch. Yeah. VR. Yeah, and and actually at that point too, it kind of made me think that in in that whole series of events is that this isn't at least when it first started wasn't that far in the future. Well, I kind of feel like pretty it had futuristic. To be least, I kind of feel like it has to be like at least thirty years in the future. Mm, I see. I don't know. Like at least I did like the, how, end, the end. The end of it does. I did like how uh, Logan kept saying, "We're not. We're not there yet. You can't have this. This technology. We're not. We're not there." Yeah, and that that's why I thought like it wasn't that. It's in the future, not that far. Be and then because he's also talking about like people pitching VR and AR stuff. Like I can't imagine that far down the line that people are still going to be pitching stuff like that. Like it's because the way he he talked about it was like it was a newer thing. People are still trying to pitch. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's true. I, yeah, I meant that like the uh, sort of the end, like when the Man in Black timeline. Or at oh that yeah, point, no, that's it's, like, it's, it's that's probably years. like forty years. Yeah, so I mean, I could see, yeah, maybe five years. I'm thinking five to ten, probably. Yeah, because when they. Uh... Went down like last season when they went down to like the old deck and looked at the computers. It was just like present day computers down there. So the like five to ten years would make sense. Yeah, still running Windows ten. I did like the scene where Dolores and Maeve met. Oh god, that was that was tense. They did not see eye to eye. Yeah, very short, and they definitely have different perspectives on everything. Like, is that where this all kind of comes to a head? Because I, like, I kind of feel like I, I, I know between the two of them, I know who I would root for. Maeve? Yeah, I think I yeah, would probably 100% root for Maeve. Yeah, it's like I'm totally 100% hashtag team Maeve. Well, yeah, she doesn't want to burn the world. Dolores just wants to destroy everything. It's I mean, I uh, pre- preferably I would not want to deal with either robot. To be honest, I'm kind of team man in black right now. Yeah, if there's anyone who's going to save humanity, it's it's him. Yeah, he was talking about how he wanted to go to a place that he built, and he wishes he wouldn't have made it. Yeah, his greatest mistake, I think he said. Was that what he showed Dolores at the end of the episode? I or like where it was being made. Yeah, like the um, the whole like Earth movers and everything with that last season they were using to like destroy everything. So. Yeah, that's that's my guess is like what she's talking about as far as weapon, and that's how the water got to where it was. Like she's using those terraformers to change everything. She have a hard time getting that to the mainland. Well, I mean, as far as to like maybe beat them at first. I don't know if that. I mean, yeah, you could. She could beat them all on the island there. I was trying to figure out like as well, like trying to look for clues. In the in the quote unquote mainland uh, scenes to f- try and figure out where some of this is set. Future the city is all I could tell. Yeah, I'd say Shanghai. I think no. It didn't look. I I didn't see some of the things in the Shanghai the Shanghai skyline that I would associate. Ah, uh, it did. It didn't look like anything to me. Um. Doesn't look like anything to me. Yeah, exactly. I was, I was like, I don't want to say this, but I mean, it it didn't look. I, it was no place that I recognized. I tried to. There was like a. There was something that was like Studio Forty Seven on, on the like as 
um, Arnold and Dolores are leaving the building and going across the street to where Arnold lives. It's like this thing called Studio Forty the Studio Forty Seven, but it also has some Asian characters on the like on the pillar. So it's like I can't tell. But yeah, I think that's when she was uh, mentioning though that uh, Glory is in a place or like the Valley Beyond the River or Valley Beyond the Mountains or whatever. Um, it's not a place; it's a it's a weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how the Man in Black and Dolores were basically doing the same thing. Like they're both trying to recruit an army. Dolores being way more successful. Well, it's. <laughs> It, it you know works a little bit better in her favor when they don't all kill themselves. Well, yeah, well, when she can go all Night King on them and like bring them back up. Yeah, she's killing them all and then bringing them up and saying, "See, I have all the cards here." And they're saying, "All right, you're in charge." Meanwhile, like... Gus is just saying, "All right, everyone, we're we're done here." Oh yeah, having um, oh, I'm trying to think of the actor's name, but yeah, he played Gus Spring on Giancarlo Esposito. Espos- yeah, there you. Go. I, it took me a minute to realize who that was because it was it was like a really dark scene. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm actually rewatching Breaking Bad right now, so his second like a word came out of his mouth. I was like, oh, that's him. Yeah, he's a good actor. I'm a fan. Los well, Pollos Serranos. But I, I would guess like does. Does everyone have, like, something programmed into them to be like, nope, can't help Man in Black? I guess well, it seems I'm, like it. But obviously not, because Lawrence doesn't. Yeah, that's true. Maybe Maybe Lawrence, groups? Maybe, 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 maybe Lawrence has, has been such, like, a, such a touchstone for him, like, uh, throughout you know, all of his travels uh, in the park, that he's, like, allowed him, like, his one thing i don't know his one companion yeah i don't know but yeah it's like he's on, he's on hard mode he is he's on permadeath he had his little stash of medical supplies in there he got yeah, out. his little cheat yeah still a lot of setup going uh was there anything else you guys wanted to to bring up i think that's it all right i think i'm gonna wrap up uh thanks for listening uh, make sure you like shares and sub- sub- subscribe and leave some comments Comments are always good. Also, listen to Manga Machinations and the Geekbox and Comic Conspiracy. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.